The desire is there, but since Outlander is entering its sixth season, Sam just can't keep dreaming about having that special someone in his life. So what about Sam's relationship in the past? Is he always single throughout his entire career as an actor? Fortunately, not really. Sam did have several relationships and some famous names like Mackenzie Mosey and Cody Kennedy are on the lists. Sam Hewen never admitted that he dated his 10 years best friend Amy Shields. The latest dating rumor surrounding Sam is with the Twin Peaks star Amy Shields. Both of them have been best friends for 10 years. So if they were dating in real life, it would have been a perfect kind of relationship. The rumor sparked in 2018 when one of Sam's fans tweeted that Sam and Amy would make a perfect couple in real life. It became viral because um, Amy favorited the tweet which indicated that she approves or agrees with the statement. That might all sound like a usual tweet from fans. I mean, don't we all ship our favorite actors with whoever we want, really? Unfortunately, though, the tweet got deleted by the author. Neither Sam nor Amy commented about this rumor, and it seems like they let it open for their fans' interpretations. Or maybe they didn't mind being rumored together. I mean, why would they, right? And last year, Amy was seen attending the Spy Who Dumped Me movie premiere, and the two seemed pretty comfortable with each other. Yeah, maybe just as friends. I'm pretty sure they would remain quiet even if their romance was indeed between them. When Sam and Mackenzie Mosey were together, Sam never bothered to hide their relationship and even post their pictures in all of his social media. If Sam doesn't want to talk about his closeness with Amy, it's a whole different case with his relationship with Mackenzie Mosey, who is best known for her role in Into the Woods and Girls' Night Out. Sam Hewen and Mackenzie Mosey when Sam and Mackenzie were together, they didn't even bother to hide their romance. They let the paparazzi and their fans see them to give in love to each other, especially when strolling around the city and attending red carpet events together, even though that didn't happen too often. Those moments were still worth our attention. Not only that, but Sam also dedicated some Instagram posts for Mackenzie. They made their first appearance in February 2017 at the New York Fashion Week, they took several pictures together and both of them looked super fine. Sam wore a black leather jacket and Mackenzie wore a tight floral dress. For real though, I think they could be the most good looking couple that has ever existed in Hollywood. Still, Sam and Mackenzie were also photographed attending a family wedding together in the same month. The pictures were tweeted by one of the Outlander's fans. Wonderful smile and wonderful couple. At Sam Hewen and at Mackenzie Mosey. Outlander. The tweet was followed by four pictures of Sam wearing a formal black tux and Mackenzie wearing all white. They look stunning as always. Another event that they went to together was at the Hungarian Grand Prix, Prix still in the same year. Same posted. The picture of him and Mackenzie while saying good luck for Force India. Good luck Force India F1 and thank you for the incredible experience. He also posted it on Instagram, which he wanted to show off his girlfriend on all his social media platforms. He's just too sweet. Sam defended Mackenzie from death threats that she received from Outlander's fan. When Mackenzie and Sam were still together, Sam defended her girl, his girlfriend when she received death threats, literally from the so-called shippers of Outlander. Sam took the matter personally and he wrote his thoughts on Twitter. Shameful behavior by many on social media recently is disgusting and needs to stop. Spinless bullying, stop now. This iconic duo split in 2018. The relationship looked perfect and filled with happy moments that they spent with each other. But sadly, the good times had to come to an end. Neither of them spoke anything about the reason for their split, but the two are still good friends and are supporting each other until now. Although it also wasn't clear when the two started dating, apart from their first appearance in February 2017, the two never really disclosed anything or made an official, an official announcement, calling each other girlfriend and boyfriend. But anyway, we're smart enough to spot the difference between just friends and I am so in you. B. 
been Katrina Wolf's husband on screen, the developed romance in real life too. We know Sam got his massive attention since he played in Outlanders. He is married to Claire Butamo Randall Fraser, played by Katrina Wolf in the series. Their on-screen chemistry is unbelievably strong and they often share steamy scenes together. And you all will be surprised how many people made the speculation that the two were a couple in real life as well. Sam Heeman and Katrina both. Sam and Katrina are very close in real life, but it wasn't romantic at all. They are more like best friends or brother and sister. We know each other really well as we have been working together for six years, which is just crazy. She's like my sister and tells me exactly what I am doing wrong and I need to know these things. Sam stated in BBC's podcast, The Love Hate Club in June 2020. Katrina also loves to praise Sam, saying that working alongside him has always been easy and relaxing since he is such a solid, grounded guy. It also annoys Sam how often people wish his relationship with Katrina to develop into something more. She is already married to a well-known music producer, Tony McGill, so people it's inappropriate. Think about her husband's feelings. Besides, it seems like Sam isn't the only one who gets annoyed by this whole rumor. Katrina also expressed her thoughts about the overwhelming requests from their fans to start a romantic relationship with Sam. But she had a different point of view about the rumor and she looked at it with a rather positive take. There is a small vocal group that wanted it, which is just a testament to the characters that we portray 